a story that really reads like a spy novel. It centers around a regular commercial flight between, uh, between Tehran and Caracas, Venezuela, with stops maybe in Beirut or maybe even Damascus. You can't buy a ticket on this flight on Iran Air 744 because a new report says all the seats are reserved for Iranian agents, including Hezbollah and the Revolutionary Guard, and it could be part of a massive international arms smuggling operation. Peter Brooks is a former CIA officer, and he's joining us now. Peter, what do you know about this flight? Well, Janet, it's anything, it may be commercial, but it's anything but regular. Uh, my understanding is this flight, which uh, goes from Tehran to Damascus, sometimes to Beirut, and then on to Caracas and Venezuela, may be carrying Iranian intelligence officers, special forces. In fact, I believe the Pentagon gave us a little tip about this earlier this year in a, con a report to Congress about uh, Iran's military power, saying that there were Quds forces in Venezuela. So there's nothing good about this at all. Outside people are not allowed to uh, take part or, or go on this flight. They're also, my understanding is that they're processed at different facilities. They're not processed through immigration and customs as other people coming into Caracas Airport. And the big question is, what are they doing in Venezuela? And what about American interests in that part of the world? You know, we want to ask you a little bit about that. In fact, we tried to book a ticket on this flight. Uh, we went online to <laughs> Iran Air. Wouldn't you believe it? We couldn't find the flight. We actually called customer service, and they told us, yes, on Thursday, this flight is leaving from Tehran to Venezuela, maybe with a few stops in between. And so we called back again to see if we could actually get a ticket. And the customer service agent told us that this is so strange, but this flight is taking off, but there's no passengers on it. We can't book a ticket. <laughs> um, what do you make of that? Well, I think that there's a lot of things going on. I think they are moving passengers, but like I said, they're probably uh, Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps uh, forces. They're probably Quds forces. They're probably intelligence agents. Now, there's been uh, been talked about for quite some time that Iran is helping train Venezuela's intelligence forces. Uh, Hezbollah is probably on that. Remember, they're coming out of out of Lebanon. Uh, they have a presence in in Latin America. In fact, they've been there for years. And if you remember back to the 1990s, uh, Hezbollah attacked. A, a Jewish uh, community center in Buenos Aires and may have even attacked, if I recall correctly, the Israeli or attempted to attack the Israeli embassy in Buenos Aires back at that time. So I think there's a lot of things going on, not only the movement of personnel, probably of guns. Uh, Venezuela is believed to be a place where Iran is money laundering because there's so many sanctions against Iranian uh, banks today. Uh, there's a, uh, there could be drug running. Some people believe that Hezbollah and some other of these terrorist organizations may actually be working with groups like the FARC, which is the anti-Columbian narco-terrorist group down in that part of the world, to uh, trade drugs for money to support their operations. So I can't think of anything good that could be coming out of this uh, out of these flights well we're gonna keep trying to book you a ticket peter just so you could do a little bit more investigation <laughs> see what we get you never know uh, all right but we appreciate your insight it's a very interesting relationship uh, relationship to watch and and we're going to talk to you more about that hopefully in the next few weeks uh, peter brooks thank you so much thank you for having me jenna i have a travel agent in jersey and uh, <laughs> if she can't get you a ticket then there are no tickets sounds to be good had. all right when we come back the rod blagojevich circus the